Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Welcome to the Nicole Hansen and Craig Friendling Show. Good to see I, you. I, as always, am Nicole. That right there is Craig. We haven't done that that's for a long old. time. Yeah, that's old. Yeah, that's old school. That's an old one. That's old school. We're bringing back the classics, baby. Woo! Remix or rewind? Remix, right? Uh, yeah, what's, what, what's it called when you redo you know. something? You, John, I what's it called when things. you redo something? You don't know I don't know the things. Redo. Read, we're redoing it. We're redoing some old stuff. All right. I know what you're thinking right now. I don't have a lot of time to watch your show today, Craig and Nicole, because I got to get to a closing. Well, guess what? True. Guess what? Look at that segue. Was that brilliant? That was brilliant. You guys don't even know. Spoiler alert. We're talking about closing etiquette today. His head's getting bigger as he's talking about being brilliant. Just so it's all right. Know. We're going to green screen out the remainder parts of my head. <laughs> hey, John, by the way, there was a dangling wire on the virtual background last time that got a we lot did. of comments. We did get a lot of comments on that. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, we did. Well, we got one from my mom, but other than that, <laughs> other than oh, that, mom, so maybe if you I could, you. if you could cap off that one exposed wire, it'd be funny to put like a, just a wire nut thing on there. That'd be cool. All right, so closing etiquette. We're, we've got we're back to our normal format of top five. Yes, top five things. We need because to do that. last week's show. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it sucked, guys. Craig thought it was terrible, so he wouldn't show it yeah. anywhere. But I think you guys should all go watch it. I was embarrassed. I went and lived under a rock for the last <laughs> six days. And that's, cried. That's actually true. Yeah. I did see him cry yeah. too. Well, the it was the rent was great under the rock, so it was good. Anyway, okay, who cares? All right, so <laughs> closing etiquette. You're at the closing table. You're in the closing room. We're gonna give you some tips because we see this. This is we've actually talked a little bit about some of this, but this is a new addition, a new thing with fresh ideas. Yes. It's Corona friendly. Yes. Right. We're wearing masks right now, but mine is actually see through. Yeah, uh, very one of convenient. those plastic ones. Shout plastic out to invisiblemasks.org.net.com. Nope. I wonder uh, if there is a website. I bet there's a website for There's going to be now. There's going to be now, yeah. <laughs> it's going to point to John's company website. You know? <laughs> yeah, click on this link. It's just going to point to John's. Okay, so services. let's just go right into number five. And this is a new one. This is like a COVID tip. Yep. Find out what the protocols are where you're going to be. This one's hard because yeah. every title company is doing something different. Some are letting you inside now, some are not. It's just, you know, some are behind plexi, some want you to sit on this side. That's Only short for so plexiglass, many. everyone. Plexiglass. Oh, he's still mansplaining today. He's a mansplaining to me all day. I knew I'd be able to get that into this video <laughs> for all you she ladies out there. She has been using the word mansplain all day today. It's almost like it's a, like she has a calendar each day and it says, here's your word for the day. See if you could use it 472 times. And she's getting close today, so Ladies, that's good. I am legit using the mansplaining word today for a very good reason. I don't, I don't even know what the word way. means. Really? Yeah. You explain something to a woman that she already knows for no reason. That's basically what it is. Because well, I why would anyone do that? To me. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. Why, why do you got to explain Are what you sure I mean that's by what the term means? John, is that what it means? Oh, he's a man, so. Can we put the definition of mansplain on the screen? <laughs> Please, right let's right put that here. up there. Next to the dangling wire. <laughs> if we could put that up there, that'd be great. I do definitely want that right here. And mom, don't worry, John did test that wire. And by the way, it's a green screen behind us, so the wire actually doesn't exist. I mom. mean, it exists in video, so I guess I can't mom, say it doesn't exist. call him later. It doesn't later. exist like you think it does. He needs to be called later, don't worry. Let me know. We're getting off the track fast. We are. Yeah. So what are the protocols? Where do you sit? How many people are allowed in the room? Is What's a, going on? Is there a woman's plane? No. Am I explaining anything to you? No. Oh. We probably couldn't figure it out anyway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need that. Okay, so, I cannot, yeah. I cannot confirm number, nor deny that. Let's get back that. to number five. Um, here's an interesting one, and we, you know, Nancy Frigo, she's going to get a second shout-out. This is the first. Um, introduce everyone in the room. I never thought about this, yeah. but it does happen. Sometimes the lender shows up unannounced. And nobody knows who they are sometimes. Especially I mean, sometimes. With COVID right now. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes they're doing online applications. They yep. may have never met their lender. And then the lender comes to the closing and they just come in there. No one really ex like explains who they are, introduces themselves. So that's something. If you are one of the two agents in that room, realistically, one of you should take charge and figure out who introduce it is. everyone in the room. Yeah. You know, you might have a title company rep that no one knows, uh, um, a listing or a loan officer or something like that. Um, and maybe maybe you're a managing broker, a team leader, and you're bringing a team member with you or another friend in the business, whatever. Introduce yeah. everyone. I always like to do that, especially when I'm trading Common somebody courtesy. new. So, so they know. <laughs> sorry, he's been talking over me all day today, too. I'm sorry, Nicole, for talking over you. <laughs> 
uh-huh. so that they know that you're actually training an agent. Talking over you means talking at the same time as you're talking. I legit might kill him today, everybody. Like, who I had a good their run. hand to bail me out? I just want to say, Popovich, I know you're on board because we already talked about this. But anybody else, I might need a lot of money to bail me out. I am only slightly scared. But I'll let you know I'm slightly scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's it. Okay, common courtesy. Find out what the COVID tips are. I will tell you this. Some people are more sensitive to COVID. And some people are some people are just more sensitive about it, yeah. you know, and we should respect that. Yes. If they don't want to close in the same room, they want everyone to wear a mask. They want to be behind glass, plexiglass, mm -hmm. whatever the case is, ask your clients, talk to the title company, do your due diligence. I'm talking to you guys, agents, yep. do your due diligence and, and do your client the best service that you can. Yeah. Right. I mean, I agree with all that, especially, and don't get mad. Yeah. Like if title company, uh, I've been to title companies where they have smaller closings rooms and they make you split up because they don't want that many people in a room. Don't get mad about that. I have seen yeah. people not be thrilled about that. So, all right. What's number four? Boom. Oh, you, whatever. You that was that. weird. Number, number quattro. Yep. For all of our south of the border friends. That's quattro. That's Spanish, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Yes, yeah, that, yeah. that is Spanish. So yep. Everyone who knows Spanish, number, numero quattro. Lockbox and keys is all I wrote down. So I'll let Nicole explain that to everyone. I don't know what that means. So be nice as the buyer's agent when you do the final walkthrough, especially if it's day of or day before. Hey, listing agent, would you like me to pick up the box? And on the other hand, when you're a listing agent, ask, hey, would you mind picking up the box? This is a courtesy, so either agent doesn't have to make an extra trip out to the property. What if the other agent was difficult to deal with at best the entire transaction? Would you still offer to pick up their lockbox? Yes. Yeah, I would too. I would too. I like and I really appreciate when agents ask me to pick up my lockbox, yeah. which I never count on them to do. No. But I will say this. I've been working with some great agents recently, uh, and they offer to get it, which is very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I so, appreciate it. It's cool. Yeah, it's saving everybody a trip. It's grabbing the keys. If you're the buyer's agent, the keys are in the lockbox, so you at least have some key at closing in case a seller forgets the key, all that kind of good stuff. So it's a win-win for both sides. Yeah. Just ask. Easy peasy, and it's nice. It's a nice thing. Gives you a good reputation in the industry. I think so. Also, here's another bonus thing, the keys. Okay, when I first got started, the key handover was kind of like a cool moment yeah. where the seller slides the keys across the table to that buyer. That's a cool moment, you know? So if you are the buyer's agent and you picked up that lockbox and brought it in there, take the, you know, take the key out, of, you don't have to put the key back in the lockbox. Unless you've got a bunch of other stuff going on. You know, or you, you lose You don't want to lose the key. Yeah. Like me. You give that key to the listing agent along with the lockbox. Listing agent, what I always do is I always put all the keys in front of my seller. And then once, usually when the title company rep, after everything's signed, they're going to, maybe they're going to fax for funding or email for funding. No one faxes anymore. Uh, maybe they're going to do that or she'll say, okay, you guys are all done. I'm going to go get checks. Then I'll tell my seller, hey, you can give the buyer the keys now. And then they slide them over. And that's kind of a beautiful moment that doesn't get to happen all the time anymore. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a cool thing. It's old school. It's definitely a good way to go. It's classy. I like it. I will agree with Craig on an old school tip for once. Um, I do like for that. For once. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I do like the whole seller giving to the new buyer and the, you know, the house is moving on, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I agree with that, I guess. Well, oh, thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Number three. Respect the closer. Yes. Oh my this gosh. This is a big one. This is a big one. I see a lot of disrespectfulness. Do not make your closer mad. It it will not bode well for you. They can. It'll bode fine because every closer I work with is a professional. That is true. However, but they it'll could, bode fine. It'll bode fine. They could drag your. What does the word bode mean? John, we're gonna need bode on the screen. <laughs> Let's do this one above our head if we can get up there. Bode. Oh, that's what it is. Make sure you're being nice to the closer. The closer will jump through hoops for you if you're nice to them. Do you know what I mean? Like you just, you have to make sure that you're respecting. Don't blab and start having personal conversations with everybody while they're trying to get everybody to sign the documents because they don't want to be like, hey, everybody shut up so we can sign the documents, right? They're not going to do that because they're professionals. It's your job to help keep control of the table while everything's going on. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, another thing, you know, while the closer's trying to explain things, shut up. Yeah, you know, agreed. Um, and and listing agents don't have your seller sign the disclosure while the closer is still in the room trying to get stuff signed. Yes, they are going to leave the room at least once, most of the time, twice during your closing. 
that's a perfect opportunity to get those things signed. If you didn't do what I like to do now is give the disclosures to the title rep, and then the title company will do that. Yeah, I like that. Make copies for you, do all that stuff. But if you forget or you don't think about that, definitely don't interrupt them. Like they're yeah. having your seller sign the deed, and you're like, "Hey, I got to get these disclosures signed." The like, deed's way hold more on, important. Hold on, title right company. Now. I know you've got a lot of work to do and got to get us in and out of here in hopefully an hour. Right. Um, but I've got to have them sign these two pieces of paper that take two seconds, and right. I got to do it right now. Yeah. Don't. It doesn't don't have do to be that. done right now. Don't do that. Yeah. And don't don't if the closer is. Sometimes the closer will stop having the client sign documents while you're talking to them. Yeah. If that's the case, that's an indication. Don't do it. And closer, don't don't listen to the agents. Just don't listen to the agents. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing they're saying is like pertinent. that important. Mm -mm. Yeah. Nope. All right. Respect the closer. I like it. Yeah. Numero dos. Knee in Japanese. Ugh. Knee. Yeah. Uh, this is this is one of my big er, but my biggest pet peeve is number one. But um. No one cares about how many deals you've done, realtor. No one cares about how busy your day is. You know, the, the closing should be about the buyer and the seller. It's not about how, how many houses you've sold this month or anything like that. You know, your two clients, do them the courtesy of shutting up about yourself. Yep. You know, don't be on your phone the whole darn time. Keep it professional. No one cares that you're leaving uh, right after this to go play 18 holes or you just got off the golf course and surprised you drove there, you know. <laughs> Who cares? No one cares about that. Yeah, I think this is the big thing is sometimes we do this every single day, but you guys have to remember it's the biggest purchase that your seller, like biggest sale or purchase that your seller and buyers are going to do. Make it seem special for them. If you don't, then you may not get that repeat client later. They need to feel special in every moment of the transaction, not just the day that you're, you know, getting paid or whatever. So, yeah. yeah, yep, exactly. Yep. Exactly. And then, oh, this is another, my second shout out to Nancy Frigo today. <laughs> If you're if you're a loan officer and you're tired or stuff like that, you need a nap, you know, or this is interfering with your nap time, the closing's not the place to tell everyone that. Yeah, you don't want not everybody to know that. You yeah. know, I'm working from home and I really need a nap. Oh, yeah, yeah no, yep. not appropriate in a yep. closing. All right, so that's number two. That's that's number, and then now let's go to our number one thing. And I know you guys are. This one's a tough one because I do know. I've got a really good friend in this business that's a really good realtor, been doing this as long as I have, and they do this at closings, and they know it irritates me, but guess what? I don't call the shots. Turns yeah. out you don't have to listen to me at all. You can either just click on another video or whatever. Let's not know. do that, though. Let's finish number one. Yeah, but you should also subscribe to our videos, subscribe to our podcast and stuff like that. YouTube we got a channel? podcast, everyone. YouTube channel, yeah. John, where's all John? Our, John's setting up our podcast right now. All of our old John's shows? John's listening to our podcast right now with earmuffs on. Earmuffs? Ear, every ear, word. Headphones. He's hanging earmuffs. on every word. John's wearing earmuffs. It's yeah. cold in the studio. It's cold in here. <laughs> it's cold. He's got sensitive ears. It's fine. Craig knows okay. nothing about technology, as we all know. Nothing about it. Yep. My phone, it's it's a BlackBerry still. It's a flip phone. It's a BlackBerry. It's one of those. It's, those it's a BlackBerry mobiles, that's like broken half and it just flips. Yeah. It's a, I got <laughs> the a slide up sidekick. The T-Mobile no, sidekick. No, what's that one thing? Etch a sketch. I have an Etch a sketch. Yeah, hit me up on my Etch a sketch. It's cool. <laughs> I'll shake it to erase the history. Okay. Uh, no gifts in the closing room. You it is tacky. Yes, it is tacky. It I is think. tacky. Give it to them when you go outside. If yeah. that's what you want. Mail them a card. Send, yeah. Leave something at the house. Whatever you want to do. If you're doing it in the closing, you're an egomaniac, and you just want the other agent. You you want them to see what you're doing. I don't know about that. I don't know either. However, that sounded good. What if you have a new agent and they can't afford to give their client a gift yet, or somebody who's been there a while? I mean, that's the big thing. Is no gift is going to be the same. No agent is the same. Some people are more thoughtful. Others are not. It's just don't make your other colleague look bad, I guess, by... I think it's weird, though, too. I do really you? do. I think it's a little weird. Like, it's nice to do something small for a client. I mean, we did a good service for them. If you yeah. did a good job, you did a good job. You know, it's yeah. like if I go to McDonald's and I get a Big Mac, they don't also give me like, hey, you know what? Hey, I also got you this plaque that said thanks, <laughs> you know, or, or like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's one thing like, like okay, like a closing gift like the knives, right? Cutco knives. Yeah. You know, they do the closing gift. They get them, in, you know, inscribed with your name or yeah. engraved, whatever. Yeah. Like, that's kind of cool. It's like a, it's something that they can use. It's it's a business card. It's a marketing piece. It's kind of cool. I, can, I get that, you know. But if I get you, like, a huge basket of wine and cheese and all this kind of stuff, like, it's cool. But You have to have know. a dolly to 
move it into the closing. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> but I, I just think, and not that getting your client a gift is wrong. That's a cool thing. Yeah, that is. Know? That's totally fine. Um, so that's very cool. But, but it's just awkward in, in the closing room. First of all, the closers company, there, the title company. Yeah, yeah it's like, it's, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Do you, do you record your, like, when you open gifts on like a, your birthday and record it and like post it everywhere? I don't know. Yeah, I think some people do that. Do they? Yes. I really got to well, get on. especially for children. I got to get on MySpace more. <laughs> on the intranet. Oh, I don't, my modem, I don't know if it connects to that. <laughs> he still has AOL mail. Got mail. Oh, I never had AOL. That it's too captive. Great. That's why I don't have an iPhone. Same as AOL. <laughs> never did that either. Internet right. light. Anyway. <laughs> this show has now gone down the toilet. No, just kidding. Um, but seriously, I saw Nancy at lunch and I want everybody to vote. Do you want to see the self-defense def video? Because he keeps not calling the guy to have this video done because I think he doesn't want me to beat him up. In my I'm defense, she can make fun of me for not understanding technology real well. The guy is only found in somewhere on the internet. I don't know how to get to him. <laughs> I don't have his phone number. He messaged they, us on Messenger. Yeah, I don't message. I don't really? do that. Really? Yeah. You saw you know the message, I don't. but you, you I, responded I messaged to one other person on the planet exactly. in the last year. That's and what it I'm was saying. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. All right. So everyone, okay, so thanks again for tuning in. No gifts in the closing room. We all agree to that. Thank you. And if you disagree, you agree now. So good. <laughs> Glad we won you over to our side. Uh, and here's to many more closings without gifts in the closing room. Yes, I like that. I do agree with that. Um, so thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. I think we're having, especially we have lots of people liking the page, the Facebook page. Yeah, thank you. You know, um, we do appreciate all of our fans that are doing that kind of thing. Remember, podcasts, YouTube, all that good stuff. We'll put those links below in the comments. If you guys want to watch old shows, because some of them are super hysterical because we're super uncomfortable in some of those shows. Yeah, and some of them <laughs> I didn't have a beard. So, and I really have that a face funny. for a beard. I think we need to make the thumbnail a no beard look on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got we got that going on. Also, feel free to do us a favor. Share this out. Help us grow this thing. Yeah. If you're in any realtor groups and stuff like that, share it out. We're not selling anything. We're not doing any recruiting. We're not doing any of those things. Nope. Just trying yeah. to get the good word on how to be a good realtor out there. You know what? We want to elevate the, the professionalism of realtors out yep. there in North and everywhere. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So anyway, yeah. So thank you. And if you guys have any um, show ideas, we're always looking for new show ideas. So just let us know. Yep. Either hit me on the etch sketch or email Nicole. And we'll get it yes. figured Probably out. Probably send it to me because he's not going to look. Or he's yep. going to be like, how do I push the send button? No, you got to send. What are you talking about? I got to like, <laughs> got to play at those. I got to keep twisting those knobs and get the little thing moving Dude, all over the place. I'm still bringing you an etch sketch next show. That's all I have to say. We're going to even see <laughs> if, if you, you can find twist one, the knobs. I will pay for it. Okay. Done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Okay. Okay. Right. That's a sketch. Next COVID. show. Oh, whatever. I coughed all over your phone earlier. Don't worry. Oh, <laughs> she did touch my phone earlier. All right. Bye, guys. She was talking to Angie Popovich. I know. Yeah. Really? All right. Bye, everyone. Thank See you. See you next week.